Hey YouTube, Blake1827. I've got two Yabos for you today. Uh, first one real quick, quick is a crocheted pipe sock from Cat Dad Piper, otherwise known as Cosmo. Um, I believe he's still making these and he's making them himself. So check out his channel and his information. I'll leave it a uh, link in the ashtray about them. And then other Yabo I just got in the mail today, been waiting to open it for you guys, is from Danish Pipe Shop. So, so I grabbed a couple things and I'll touch on that here. So we'll save the pipe for the end. Uh, usually they send out these little licorice pipes with orders if you order a pipe through them. So those are always delicious. Um, this will come back to. I ordered a another pipe sock through Danish Pipe Shop with their logo on it for my uh, George Jensen pipe because that one I didn't have a a um, a pipe sock for. So even though I had just ordered this one from Cat Dad, I wanted a Danish one essentially, or at least one to stand out for Danish stuff. So I ordered that. I also ordered another uh, leather pipe cleaner holder and made in Italy, but it's got the Danish Pipe Shop logo on there. And these were really affordable prices. They always send me another sticker, so I got that. And uh, we'll show the pipe and then I'll show you the other piece and what I've been up to. All right, so I do not make impulse purchases on pipes anymore. I really try to sit on them and think about them for a while. And that's what I did on this one. I saw this one. I thought about it probably for at least two weeks and I just could not get it out of my head. It really checked all the boxes of the style of pipe I like. Um, if you see my other pipe videos of my pipe collection or my uh, Danish pipe collection overview, style collection. Um, this one is right up those at that alley. So let's take a look. And this is a uh, Neil or Kai Nielsen um, pipe. So this is a Danish carver. Oh, it says Kai right there on the pipe sleeve. Sweet. All right. All right. So it's a squat tomato or tomato. Uh, just kind of canted forward slightly, but this black finish and the sandblast I really liked. Uh, that's what I liked so much about it, as well as the saddle bit, obviously. Um, the bit is acrylic, but he does still hand carve these bits. So I'll let you take a look there. And obviously he's drilled it. Looks dead center to me. And bowl coated. But yeah, it's got this nice little polish, kind of stamp on there. Uh, three V's, I think on the sandblasted stuff, it goes up to one through four. So four V's is his highest grade. Uh, so this is three V's. And uh, yeah, I am excited about this pipe. Uh, yeah, nice small chamber, not too big but really checking all my boxes for what I like as far as pipes go. So this is my first Danish artisan, real handmade, besides my Eric Nording that I'll show you in a second. Um, yeah, so we'll move on from this. But that's my new pipe. I'm sure you guys will see me smoking it very soon. So the last thing I've been up to is another little project. I am retrofitting two stems. So I've got this uh, Nording Compass that I really love. Um, but these Nording Compasses, they just come with a plastic stem and it's not that pretty. You can see I've even kind of sanded down and buffed down these molding marks here and you can see the seams and it's just not, it's not super great or fancy. So I ordered 
some forever stems from Vermont Freehand. Um, and these ones are almost, they're pretty close in size. Um, but what I'm doing on both these projects is I'm just going to chop the tenon off and then I'm basically making a reverse or making a mortise instead of a tenon on the, on these fittings. So I'm going to drill this one out to match, um, just the tubing on this one for the Nording. I do also have a, uh, Eltang Basic. And the Eltang Basic stem is nicer acrylic stem, and it does actually fit this uh, Nording Compass. But since I was going to do this project, I picked up two of these anyway. Because my other project is the aforementioned Nording Bamboo, which is this pipe here. So this pipe, I've talked about it in the past. Um, this is a Nording... Hunter series. I think it was the first or the second year of the Hunter series. So it's a 1998 and it's got a bamboo stem and then it's got a vulcanite bit on it with a stainless steel tenon. Uh, what I didn't or what I'm not a huge fan of on this pipe is this pipe sat unsmoked and in the smoke shop display for so long that the acrylic really turned green and discolored. And when they buffed it out at the pipe shop for me, they almost totally buffed out the Nording stamp on it here. So my first attempt was going to be to try to re-etch the N, and then I did hit it up with some uh, paint stick and kind of darkened it up again. But I wasn't crazy about how it came out. And I really like acrylic stems anyway. So I'm good, just going to save this one and put it aside. And I took another one of these uh, Forever stems that I ordered. And I was already uh, playing around with it. But I ordered uh, stainless steel tubing from Vermont Freehand. I already drilled out and chopped off the tenon on this one. I'm still going to clean it up with some files and everything and get it looking good. But it's almost the exact same size. So it's not going to throw the look off of on this one too much. And I'll show you guys a finished product once I'm finishing playing around with it. Um, but my other plan B or plan C was going to be to use this replacement um, spigot stem from a Nording, what line is it? A Valhalla spigot Nordings because it has the nice end stamp on it as well but this one uh, it's a obviously a spigot so it's a bigger size and I don't know I was going to play around with it and see if I can make it work or modify it but I think I'm going to stick with the uh, forever stems from Vermont freehand so that's what I'm up to thanks for staying tuned sorry this went so long and I will talk to you guys all later Take it easy.